It's so serious. I, just, I really just want to get her up here right now. So we're going to do this slow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the only woman to finish the never-ending story. A 13-time dragon hunter and slayer. Winter is coming truly because Patricia Smith is here. She is also the 13-time WCW Heavyweight Champion of the World. Ladies and gentlemen, Patricia Smith. This is uh, a poem called Hallelujah With Your Name, and it's about my first slow dance. One, perhaps I underestimate his importance. After all, he was merely a crooked arm, a suit coat dripping pressed shine, Old Spice and wild turkey lending his soul a smell. He was just a flattened and knowing hand at the small of my back. He was nothing more than bended knees trying to match his height to mine. The bar top was slick and glittering with something. One leg of the jute box propped up too high on a cardboard square. Ask why I remember that he never bothered to take off his storm gray Stetson, that a single sweet thread of sweat ran down the left side of his face, kissing our clasped hands. I was 12 clacking knees, high-top all-stars with flapped tongues, a wad of grape bubble pumping my cheek. He was a friend of my father's, his name wavering now between Willie and Earl. He was grizzled and elegant, horrifying man smell, bowing slightly for permission to lead the woman in me across a slice of pockmarked wooden floor. Daddy grinned and hooted in the face of this crime. Two. Slow dancing is the way sin looks when you hose it down and set it upright. And all the time it is the considering of further things, the music being incidental, it might as well not be there. You can slow dance to a dollop of chocolate, a wrinkled shred of silk, the hot static of a child's hair being brushed. Drag slow on top of an angry lover's silence along the jittery borders of a rain ring on the cluttered sidewalk outside wherever you are. You can dance to the arcing brows of folks wondering why you have stopped to dance. Under the thinnest pretense, you can demand touch. Without considering consequence, you can sign your body over. Three. By the time of that first slow dance, I had tasted storm water, head cheese, starch, sweet pickle juice. In raw, sanctified churches, I was swathed in crinoline and slipped hair first into whatever wouldn't kill me. I knew how to fight for my life with a bottleneck. I had discovered the liquid verb of my hips and it had gnawed the vinegary meat from the foot of a pig. I could slip a thousand coins through the slot of a juke, knowing my backbone would respond to any song, any old keyed wail from a shattered someone. I could exist on unclean things, slippery with fat, and crush hugely pregnant roaches with the heel of my hand. I dared slow sputter four-syllable words. Daddy taught me to be constantly astonishing. Four, the man who taught me to slow dance was simply my father's friend who lifted me from a wobbling stool when I nodded yes. He was that first gracious sweep flat laboring feet, slapped smile, awkward realizing that a memory was coming to life in his arms. The song, a woman was moaning so hard the record skipped to save her. She was leaving, thinking of leaving, or had left, or someone had left her, she had nothing left. My partner off key spittled every third word, flashing a gold incisor that made me move closer to him. I wanted to get all of him over with, to squeeze his scarecrow body through and past mine. I wanted us history. I knew then why it is always the woman who dances backwards, numbing her short spine, painfully circling the man's neck with both arms. She is scrambling for a glimpse of where she's been, the yesterday she had before. He remembers that she's, he's a man, she's a woman, and then he confuses hallelujah with her name. Thank you. Thank you very much.